since it's kind of different having all five of you up here, could maybe all of you just briefly say what it was like just with all the festivities beforehand and the emotion that went on with that senior day? Um, it was just, it was an amazing to see like the crowd and everybody there it was really loud. So it was just great to see Gil being filled, especially for the four of us that have been here since day one, seeing Gil when we first got here, not very filled to now. So I think that was great to see. Um, I thought it was pretty great just to see the crowd, like Devin said. Um, it was great to have my family with me to my side and um, just to see everybody smile. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it was, it was a really heartwarming moment. Just like I was there with my family, but I felt like everyone in Gill was my family. Like it was just such, just this community feel and everyone was cheering for everyone to be out here with these five. It was pretty cool. Yeah, similar to what Ruth said, I think it really just showcased the whole family atmosphere. You're there with your family and then you have this amazing support um, ink from Corvallis. And so um, I think that's just, you know, how we felt the entire four years we've been here. But yeah, it was incredible to see that many, that many people just all cheering for us. I mean, some of those people have been with us since day one. Um, others have rallied in the past years and, you know, that's all family to us. Ruth, were you able to separate the emotions of all that pre-game pre stuff with the game and get into the game pretty, fairly quickly? Yeah, I definitely think so. Kind of, you know, obviously just physically you're standing around for a little bit. So those first few like minutes of the game kind of just getting back into it. But I felt like we transitioned very well just into the fight of the game. Obviously, you're kind of celebrating what you've what you've done, but you haven't done anything yet to, as far as this game. So just getting into that mentality, I think we did it pretty well. Um, anybody can answer this question, but now that it's over, just after what UCLA did to you guys in early January, how gratifying was it to come out and, and just to get this win? Um, I mean, awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, they're de obviously a, a great team, and um, we had a target on our back the first time we went in there, and um, you know we wanted to get them today. And I think we all came out with that mentality that it was going to be tough, but you know we're playing in front of our home crowd, and we have the momentum on our side, and so um, just come out and play our game, and the rest will follow. Um, Ruth, could you just talk about the start of the second half, um, the, the third quarter? It seemed like the team was really targeting you down low on offense and, and trying to get you some easy buckets. Yeah, I thought that that was just something that we needed to go to, and it was good that, you know, guard set me really good screens and got me open, so we kind of just got some easy looks there and kind of helped maintain our momentum. Devin, did you call bank? Hmm? Did you call bank on that no. shot? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and uh, Jamie, actually for anybody, but Jamie, do you, is there battles within battles when you play certain teams uh, for a while there between you and Canada? There was some, some good pushing and shoving going on. Um, I mean, yes, but I think every time I go out on the court, the person that's guarding me or whoever I'm guarding, it, it's a battle between us. And so it's not really, oh, I'm going after that person. It's just, you know, uh, competing. Is there any talking ever going on? Um, sometimes, but not too much. I, I personally don't say much, but, but yeah, sometimes. And this would be for anybody. I know emotional last game, seniors here, but more than likely you're going to be back here for the tournament. Is, any, is there any thought about that at this point, or is that just too far in the future and just games to be played uh, with remaining in the Pac-12? Yeah, I think we're just focusing on next weekend and just taking it one game at a time and then the Pac-12 tournament before you can even begin to start thinking about, you know, what's to come. And so I think you kind of have to have that singular focus on just the next thing ahead. Jamie, he mentioned the uh, the start of the second half um, as, a, as a big run for you guys, but you things kind of turned around after the cold start. Just what was the difference that you you saw out there maybe in the in the second quarter that kind of allowed you guys to to get the lead and then you never let it go in the second half? We just relaxed. Um, like we mentioned before, just the emotion of senior day. Um, we settled settled in a bit, and their pressure. We kind of got used to that, and just said, you know, just see clearly and just play our game and. Um, after the first quarter was over, we just kind of rallied around that and just um, really focused in and just tried to stay calm. I'm curious when those, those 
features are being played that everyone's <laughs> locked in and laughing. Do you ever notice that, even though you're supposed to be locked in during a break? Because they're pretty funny. Every time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every time. I, it, I think two years ago, um, we always come out bad, second half, and those always played at the worst timing, and we'd, we'd sit, be sitting over there just trying, trying so hard not to laugh, and, um, but it, yeah, it's impossible, but uh, we just enjoy them now, and, um, and then once they're over, focus back in. <laughs> Try and not let the coach see that you're... <laughs> well, half the time he's laughing too, so. <laughs> Um, have you guys been part of a game where a trio of players are so much responsible for the team scoring? And, and I know that that wasn't by design at all, but um, can you guys just talk about that? Yeah, I think it's a little unusual for us. Usually we're known kind of for being like spreading around and having a lot of contribution, and especially off the bench. But tonight, I guess it just kind of is what it is. And hopefully we can keep moving on and keep everyone scoring and we don't have to rely on three people every night because that's going to be huge. Anybody else, want to, anybody else want to address that at all? I think everybody on this team has the capability to do that on any given night. And so it just happened that you know we got the shots and the points tonight. But this is not a three-person team, and um, everybody can play. And so like Ruth said, looking forward, um, I think that's, that's going to happen. Ruth, you kind of addressed the, the second half and, and getting some looks down low, but just throughout the night, whether it was scoring, rebounding, block shots, did you feel an extra sense of aggressiveness tonight? Just to, That's what it looked like from, from the outside, at least. Yeah, I think I just kind of got into my rhythm and was very just engaged in the game. And I don't know, it was, it was just a lot of fun and things were happening, you know, just playing so physical, like UCLA demands you to rise to your best. And I think that tonight I just came ready and I think we were playing well as a team and just things were happening for all of us. Anybody else want to comment on that? Did, did it feel like that? Yes. Um, we would always talk about Ruth not getting on the ground, but Ruth was all over the ground today, <laughs> saving balls. She was just everywhere. I thought she did really good. She got two steals, too. I think <laughs> both of them were diving on the ground. So <laughs> it's awesome to see that. And Jamie, you set a career high with 14 rebounds tonight. Um, I know you're always trying to crash the boards, but was that a specific focus today? That kind of just happened naturally? I mean, how did that happen today? Um, actually, yeah, it was not a focus at all. Um, I wasn't even supposed to be offensive rebounding, but I, I just went after the balls I thought I could get, I guess, and they happened to land in my hands, <laughs> luckily. Uh, Devin, before the game started, I was down there, I saw a lot of Hunter t-shirts in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the emotion of it all, was it hard to play in the first quarter to take a few minutes before ever, you know, you and everyone else got comfortable with the game plan? I don't think so. I think that um, we all have been a part of a senior night before, either if it's our team or someone else's team. So I think that um, we handled it really well and knew what we had to do in this game. So I think we handled it well. I have one last question for Jim. And I only pick you because everybody else on the panel here is from essentially this part of the country. Mm -hmm. So what's it been like for you to come all the way out here and, and to play with, with uh, these these teammates here? Uh, it's been pretty nice, actually. It's pretty, actually different. Um, just the style. Um, but it's been really nice. I adapted well. Um, a lot of adversity. But I feel like once I you know, adapted, it was came easy. So I handled it pretty well. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, what a great win and what a great night. And I uh, told myself before the game, there's no way I'm getting emotional tonight because we can't. You know, there's no way you can come in with anything but a clear head and mind and lead a team against a team as good as UCLA. And so uh, it's going to be a quick senior deal, and it's going to be over, and then we're going to move right into the game. And, and man, it, that happened quickly, by the way. I mean, we were like, they're still on the floor, and they're doing starters for the other team. It's like, okay, let's switch gears. But when this crowd went crazy for those guys, how can you not get emotional? You know what I mean? I think that's what emotions are for, it's for moments like that. And so um, that was tough, and it was really special. And that was, that was just incredible. I mean, that's as good as it gets. Um, a place 
that has experienced so much over a four-year period of time, so much emotion, and these are such, I mean, they, they learn to love these kids. That's the thing, this crowd learned to love them, and our, and our students learn to love our crowd, and there's such a cool relationship. Uh, you know, I've been to a lot, we've played actually in a lot of big arenas across the country. We've played in two of probably the top four, I would say, um, women's basketball venues in the country, and there's not a crowd like this one. Anyway, I've never been a part, I've never been on the road anywhere near what this is. I've, I've been with more people, but not the atmosphere. And so tonight had such a great, I mean, that was, that's what this is all about. Every, every ounce of it. And I uh, couldn't be more proud of a team to face a team as good as UCLA and as well coached and as disciplined and um, as talented throughout the roster to just lay it on the line like he did. And I listened to your, some of your questions with these guys. And, um, you know, Ruth Dive and Jamie getting 14 rebounds tonight. We started off emotional and tight, you know, missed shots early. And then next thing you know, Jamie's like, okay, I'll bring us back and, and create momentum. And whatever she had to do, she did. And it's hitting tough threes. And, um, but the scrap and the effort, uh, this game got everything they had. And I thought that just epitomized what this senior class is because this program has gotten everything they had. And for that, um, I'm just grateful to be a part of it. And I know the people that have been a, in the stands or watching on TV or – you know, have basically adopted this team um, feel the exact same way. Uh, just so grateful for what they've done and so thankful that they got to finish tonight. You know, I mean, this was a game. People are like, you feeling pressure? And I'm like, a lot of times I don't. And today, I felt some pressure. I felt, I want this, this group needs to go out right. Um, and so I'm so thankful that they got to. And so what a great effort, what a great game by both teams. You know, we not a lot of players scored in this game. It was one of those games where you're just going to your absolute money uh, all the time, and it, both teams took away what other teams wanted to do, and you know we, neither team played a lot of people, and that was just the way it needed to be tonight. And uh, what a great basketball game. Scott, you mentioned that you, you guys did kind of come out a little bit tight, and they jumped out to an early lead. What flipped, do you think, for, for you guys there to take the lead and never let it go? Just that we made a shot finally is really what I thought. I, 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 you know, I thought we played great defense to start the game, actually. I, I didn't think we shot the ball well, and that was the saving grace in that. It's like, okay, we're getting good looks. I mean, we missed a couple layups, a couple wide open shots that we created, off, and we got out in transition. I mean, that first quarter was, compare the first quarter to the fourth quarter. It's like two completely different styles of play. One is grind it out, you know, shoot a ton of free throws, and one is like fun to watch. And one was like up and down and chaos and transition and, and kind of a craziness. But, um, you know, they made shots early. Uh, they had a couple tough post jumpers. Uh, Billings and Drummer both hit a shot, and, and, um, and we missed. And, and then I thought as soon as Jamie's first shot went down after, you know, all that grind, I thought we just settled a little bit. And then I thought we got the same looks as it went, you know. And so I don't think a lot changed other than just the ball went down. I, I liked our defense even from the beginning. Um, so I, I think that was it. 15 assists on 21 made baskets. That's impressive. Was it just about the best that the team is moving the ball around? Well, I think it's been a progression. Offensively, we just continue to improve. You know, and this is a great team. Our numbers aren't great. We didn't shoot it well. Um, we had 18 turnovers. You know, credit them for every single one of those. Um, but the vision that we have been playing with and the way we're moving the basketball has been on an upswing for the last month. And it just gets better and better. And if you look at our numbers, all our num offensive numbers are, are increasing. And that's why I love where we're at. I feel like we're just getting better. And we're just still learning ourselves and just getting better as we're going. Um, that number actually surprises me a little bit in a game where they're challenging your passes. You know, and so I think it's just attacking, draw help, and then find a score. You know, and then Ruth established herself in the third quarter in that way and created a few assists for us there as well. It's kind of like, you know, a month or so ago, early in the season, we were talking about there's no way any team in this conference goes 16-2 again, how deep it is, how strong it is. And yet, and you had a key injury that you battled through. When you reflect on this, or maybe you even don't reflect on it, but are you a little bit surprised that you're doing this well record-wise? Once Sid went down, I, yes. I, I would have, I didn't know if we could survive that stretch quite like we did. And 
so at that point, I would have said yes. The way we survived that now, um, well, I mean, th this is an amazing group of people. So I, I wouldn't put anything past them. You know, at, at halftime, half Mary Murphy asked me, um, you know, can you, can you just have two scores? Can these two just carry the entire way? Or are you going to need more people to score? And I said, well, I wouldn't put anything past them. You know, they could probably do it themselves. Um, and that's true of our team. I wouldn't put anything past them. And, and I didn't realize the one thing I'd say to that question. In order to survive an injury and to maintain consistently and consistency and continue to find ways to win, you have to be an elite defensive team. You do. In this conference, you just you do. And if you look at, you know, I think three of the top six defensive teams in this conference, or in the country, excuse me, are in this conference with us, Arizona State, and Stanford. We're, that just are committed to that end of the floor. We are defending at a level that Oregon State, since I've been here, has, has not defend. I mean, this, it's an unbelievable effort we're getting every night on that end of the floor and a commitment. And so that has allowed us to survive, you know, on a couple nights where we haven't had great offense. Washington State was an example of that. You know, most nights, if you play like that on offense, you're going to get beat. But our defense has been so great. And so, um, agree. I mean, I, I didn't know if 16-2 and two, uh, could get it done this year in this conference with the talent. Um, but and it might not actually. It might be. It might be 17 and one that gets this thing done, and and um, hopefully we're that one. And, and going along with what you were saying defensively, is that how you can win 14 in a row? Because there are nights when you don't shoot that well. Even tonight, yeah. percent wasn't that good. Yeah. But the defense seems consistently always there. Yeah. Well, we're, you know, we held them to under 30 percent shooting. You know, and our our season average is 31 percent. We're a team that typically doesn't foul very much, you know, so we're not going to hand out free throws. Uh, we're committed not to actually um, do that. And so it's going to be tough to score on us, you know, and then we get loose at the other end. Now that Sid's back, we're in more of a rhythm, a little more transition, a few more easy buckets per night because of her experience. Um, it makes, you know, us, us a tough team to beat. And so we've, we've got to maintain that and we've got to continue to improve um, defensively as well as offense. I'll ask you the same question I asked Ruth of herself. Was that even a notch above, or like as far as just a general aggressiveness than you've seen from her? I was so happy to see it. Yes, I mean that Ruth is the most amazing athlete, and and she doesn't always play like it because she doesn't have to. You can get a rebound at six six without jumping, but look what happens when you do jump. You know, and that's something that not every team ha shouldn't have to against everybody, and it's hard and it's uncomfortable, and it, you know, and so to see her diving, to see her jumping out of bounds and saving balls and running them down in the corners, uh, to see her get trapped and handle it and be strong and off a rebound while her arms are getting hit, and still make a good pass out and take a, a dribble to create space and make a pa create a passing lane, incredible, you know, and so. Ruth, I still feel, I mean, just scratching the surface of what she's capable of. And we've seen so much and so much progress. Um, I thought tonight we saw some glimpses of the player that she'll need to be, you know, to uh, have a career, you know, at the highest, the highest level, and which I think she should. Um, and so I loved what I saw. I, that's why I love this conference. I love how talented it is because it brings the best out. I mean, Jamie had 14 rebounds tonight. I don't know if that's a career high or not. It is a career high. Okay, and so tonight demanded Ruth diving on the floor, jumping in the air, ripping rebounds. Jamie, you know, getting 14 rebounds. That's what tonight demanded, and that's the beauty of what we do, you know, because these students are figuring out what their potential is, and that's a beautiful thing to watch. And then with about, I think, three minutes left or so, UCLA had cut it to eight, I believe, and you called mm -hmm. timeout. Did you say anything specific in there about just kind of finishing the game off or just because you did after that? Yeah, I, I thought... We, we were out of sorts a couple times on our press break, and I thought we were settling a little bit. We needed to get the ball to sit and keep things as normal as possible, I thought, during that stretch. So that was a reminder. And then I thought we were tired. You know, and I, was, I, I knew the media was coming. For, it was 540, I think, on the clock when that happened. And I looked up, and I'm like, ah, I could try to survive this, you know, but I didn't like where we were at the moment. And so I felt we just need to get a rest right now, sit down for a couple minutes. And obviously, it's a game where you've got to ride people longer than anybody would want to, you know, but that's just what this game demanded. All right. Get to work. Get to work, everybody. Scramble. Clean.